Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pittsburgh. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Toronto's got no time to think about what went down last night because they're right back on the ice tonight. Thinking's bad, James. It's better to just go in and play. And a lot of times I found the second to back to back. I felt great early. It was later in the game I started to wear out. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Leafs start with possession as we are now underway. Couldn't complete the pass. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Rust. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, that goes awry. And they create the scoring chance, and it's a good one, but they don't get it on the net. And now he moves it quickly to Riley. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Curry. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Nice pass. Shot! Stopped by Brasic. Toronto's got it against the boards. Stays with it. Good use of the body on the play. The Leafs have it now. The Penguins get a hold of the puck. And he moves it up to Malkin. Can't connect on the pass. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Angles it over to Kasha. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Passes right to the front. And that pass attempt is deflected. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. The Leafs have it now. Slides the puck across to Kasha. Feeds it over to Tavares. Takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. The Penguins take the puck through the neutral zone. Here's the pass. One. Scores! And steals! Oh, he's played some good goal here to run a shutout streak like this. It finally breaks. It's got to break eventually, but that's a good run. Pittsburgh's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. And he elects to play the puck. Here's a short pass to Bluger. The Penguins move it in. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Fires it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Tosses it to Simmons. Blacks it into the offensive zone. The Penguins take over on possession. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Puck is dumped in. That'll allow the defensive pairings to switch things up. Gains the zone through the middle. Centering pass! Fantastic save! Morazic somehow able to make this save. I, I think from my position that this is going in the net. But he gets just enough of it. That pass doesn't go. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Spezza. Tries to get it to Mikheyev. Grabs control of it at the point. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. Toronto's players are frustrated as they have a really good scoring chance, but it hits the post and doesn't close the gap. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Pedersen. And it's a quick pass to Rust. They've got some momentum here. Here's a chance. And he comes up with it. 
Morazic's previous start was a shutout. Now he's trailing in this game, but he makes a good save there. Winds up from the point. Nice save off the tender's pad. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Passes on over to Crosby. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Trying just a little bit too much there, foiled on that play. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Broken up in the neutral zone by Sandine. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. A chance in front, and that one's broken up. And that closes the book on the first 20 minutes of this one. Just a lone goal is the difference so far as we conclude the first frame. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slides the puck across to Rust. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Brody's carrying it ahead. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Here he is in close. Denies him again. Nice work in there. After the first stop, he's got to find the puck to save the second. Turns it over. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's a chance. Wow. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. The Penguins make their way back to set a race here with now a two-goal lead in the second. Nice to pad the one-goal lead. They've played well, and now they've earned this spot in the game. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Here's a chance and makes the save. Stops him again. Good save. Positional save through traffic. The Leafs work it through center. Can't keep a hold of it. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. And they're going to go. There's the whistle stopping the play and allow him to get off the ice and get a much needed breather here. Down he goes, fairly one sided, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that, Donnie Brook. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pittsburgh's looking to break out and tries to make a diagonal pass to Aston Reese. Sent into the offensive zone. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Great pressure to force the turnover by Tavares. Jari's gonna elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. He crouches himself into position here, turns himself a bit to cover some area and block that shot. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Penguins lead this one to zip. Takes possession off the draw, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. 
Quick pass to Kerfoot. Gets in front of it. And that's poked away. Toronto's got the puck now. Oh, there's one more. Slides it quickly to Gensel. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Feeds it down low. Can't get a hold of that pass. Great chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Delayed penalty looming. Loose puck battle along the boards. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. The Leafs are off to the box. Interference the call. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. You turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it lump it. Gensel's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability, and it could really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Crosby's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Woo, and there's the whistle. Tells you a side that's, that's probably a pretty hard shot. It has to be to bounce out of play that quickly, but the goalie didn't even catch up to it. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Crosby's won the draw. And it comes up with the save. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Spets us ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. Toronto's moving the puck through center ice. Maintains possession. Eagle eyes by the referees. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like they caught the slash. Matheson's going off for slashing. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Patience with the puck's a key in four-on-four. -four. You've got more time. Don't give the puck away. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. The Penguins slide it through center. Puts it towards the net. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Dished on over to Nylander. Moves the puck to Tavares. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that's picked off in front. The Penguins take it across the blue line. Rocked him in the open ice. And now he moves it to Nylander. And he connects with the long bomb. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Here he is in front. The puck goes out of play. And we'll get a face off on the heels of that save. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Pittsburgh's got a 2-0 lead. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Here's a chance. And that one stopped. Jari's watched his forwards build up a pretty good night offensively, but he's sure done the job at his end. His save percentage has been outstanding. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. From the point, they take control of it. Scores! That's three unanswered now. Oh, there seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Pittsburgh's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. Crosby's won the draw. The Penguins played along the boards. And that's intercepted by Marner. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Leafs power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. Matheson's time is almost done. Richie's got it in the offensive zone. From the right side and up the middle. The Leafs power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. 
I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because you show them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Oh, what a big time stop by Chari. Quick feed to Crosby. Hammers a shot, and he says no. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Penguins have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Tavares, quick on the draw. Steps inside the line, and he loses control of the puck. Gets it over to Bluger, and they won't connect on that one. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Simmons. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Intercepted at center by Kemp. The Penguins gain control of it. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Toronto's got it along the wall. Moves it to Zucker. And no luck on that pass attempt. Sends it in deep. The Penguins gain possession. Great read in the offensive zone by Simmons. Jari's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. But you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Cops made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. In the final moments of this period, it has been a one-sided affair. 3-0 is where we sit. Toronto's won the draw. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Zucker's gaining momentum. Takes a shot. Oh, glove saved by Mrazek. Zucker's looking a little rejuvenated. He had that fight earlier. Now he had a five-minute break to rest, but he's back at it. A good shot on goal. I'm glad we got a replay here. That's a great scoring chance that the goalie's in position to make the glove save on. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Don't go anywhere. Third period is just around the corner. to get underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? Pittsburgh's focus now is just locked down this. Scores! Mitch Marner! As we get another look at this, James, Check out the vision and the creativity to thread that pass right through onto the tape, and it's in the back of the net. The Leafs have got one back here now in the third. They're really gonna have to push. You're gonna run out of time here in the last period. Crosby's won it. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Scores his second of the night! When you get one, you start to get greedy. You want another one. You know it could be your night. Now he's got two. If that's me, first spot is I can get three. I know I can. Dig for the next one. He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot.
Pittsburgh's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Right in front! Shut down by the blocker. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Dumoulin's got it in the defensive end. Gessel's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Pittsburgh's able to laugh that one off as it hits the post and stays out. But they've got such a nice big lead, they didn't need it. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Latang. Brody's got the puck in his own zone. Taken by Riley. Toronto's moving it along the wing. Good read with the stick to break that up. Moves with the puck in the corner. And that's blocked. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Penguins just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Toronto's won the faceoff deep in their own end. From the right side, takes the pass. The Leafs take it along the wall. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Carter. Moves it quickly over to Aston Reese. Centering pass in front. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Sharp reaction save. And there's another stop. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. And they'll go the other way with it. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to Aston Reese. Here they are on the attack. Rodriguez has got it along the wall. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Pedersen. Loses his balance on the play. Oh, and there's a great save by Vrasic. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. And he puts that one aside with ease. Philadelphia's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. Toronto's got it, and they're on the attack. And that one's broken up. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Quick feed to Anderson. Nice zone entry from the right side. Handles the puck. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got it with a toe. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed from his own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Manages to hang on. And that's knocked away. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. A oh, great read on the play. Sends a pass over. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Here's a short pass to Bluger. On the doorstep. And that's picked off. Pittsburgh's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Gains control of the puck here at the line. With the backhander. And there's a much-needed whistle, Ray. Back in the day, you'd just take the puck and shoot it up into the crowd. That's a penalty now. The only stop you can get is from the goalie freezing it. Crosby's got that beauty backhand zone ability, and really, it's his prowess for scoring on his backhand side, guys. It's tougher to shoot and control that shot, but he does it so well. It's something to watch out for. Comes up with a stop. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Here's a chance! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Marner's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Late goings of this period, and it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. 
Spezza's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. Moves it to Kerfoot. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Puck grab by Kerfoot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Leafs take possession here in the open ice. Broken up at center by Rust. Moves it quickly over to Kerfoot. And that pass goes awry. And that pass can't connect. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Riley's stick handling in his own zone. The Penguins have it now. Looking for space inside the D zone. And we've got a two on one. And he was right there. They can't connect. Takes a shot. There it is. Final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Burn the tape. Do they even use tape anymore? But burn this game. Man, they were bad. And it's a shame that long winning streak goes down in flames. Yeah, I guess I don't need to return that VHS anytime soon. But man, that was ugly. You know who loves a winner? Everybody, listen to this place. You want everybody on the same side? Win some games. The players salute the fans who get to cheer a great evening. And that'll do it for Ray Perro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.